You're regarded as a champion of diversity and inclusion within the mining and resources industry. Can you tell us more about when you first started working in that space or or being recognised in that space? What progress or changes you've affected or witnessed? I've been given various awards and, and it's always made me smile. And then how do you use that kind of profile in order to continue to increase um, the profile of other women that are coming through and encourage people to see that they can make a difference if they come into this industry. I think one of the, one of the, I guess one of the realizations I came to was that there's an increasing number of young women coming through who are very powerful, very passionate. And, and so over the last, I guess, over the last couple of years, I have stepped back a little bit and I've allowed like um, other women to come through and, and be very passionate. But what I have done, uh, which has been really eye opening for me is I'm the executive sponsor for Jasper within BHP. Now Jasper is the BHP um, LGBT plus um, and allies um, kind of internal um, group. Um, and we, we work to look at how do we improve the, the rights, the inclusion, the well-being of LGBT plus people in our community and in, in the BHP family. Um, and, and that has really given me an insight into something that is not my lived experience. So the women in mining was always my lived experience. And I couldn't understand why men couldn't, under, couldn't see the issue. Um, but it was not their lived experience. That's something that's really opened my eyes by working with Jasper is trying to understand what is, what is the lived experience of someone who is lesbian, gay, queer, however they, uh, you know, whatever piece of, of that community they're a part of, what their lived experience is, is not my lived experience. So, so to learn that, to, to, to learn to try to see it more from that other side to stand even further into other people's shoes and try to understand it has given me a certain, I guess, um, understanding of how hard it has been over the last 25 years for the guys that I'm interacting with. I'm going, but I just need a toilet that works. <laughs> for them to be like, what are you talking about? There's lots of toilets that work. Do you know what I mean? So, 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 but it is, you know, how do you, so, so I have a little bit more sympathy. It doesn't mean that I kind of like let up on, on my expectations of what they will come and, and join with, but maybe it's like now how I think about how do we phrase it? How do we engage? is to how do we really uh, recognize that we have to introduce them to what is our lived experience more in order for them to be able to engage better and, and get what the, you know, to really understand what it feels like. 